The night had draped the city in an inky blackness, its shadows weaving a tapestry of mystery and unease. Among the labyrinthine streets, Jake, a seasoned Uber driver, found himself entangled in the cobweb of dimly lit alleys. The city's usual hum of activity had given way to an unsettling quiet, broken only by the distant wails of sirens and the occasional rustle of leaves carried by an ominous wind. A notification blinked on Jake's phone screen, a new ride request emanating from an unfamiliar address. The pickup point was at the far end of a desolate cul-de-sac, a place seemingly forgotten by time. The houses, with their sagging roofs and overgrown lawns, stood like ancient sentinels guarding a long-forgotten secret. Despite the unsettling atmosphere, the lure of a high fare compelled Jake to navigate through the eerie stillness. As he turned into the desolate cul-de-sac, the sense of isolation deepened. The address pointed to a house that loomed in the darkness like a relic of a bygone era. Its windows were like vacant eyes, staring into the abyss. A figure, draped in a hooded cloak, emerged from the shadows as Jake approached. Are you my ride? The voice, barely audible, sent shivers down Jake's spine. His eyes scanned the hooded figure, but its face remained hidden in the shadows. Suppressing a growing sense of unease, Jake responded, Yes, I'm your Uber driver. Hop in. The passenger glided into the back seat, the scent of decay clinging to their presence. As Jake stole a glance at the rearview mirror, he caught a fleeting glimpse of piercing, otherworldly eyes gleaming from the darkness of the hood. The destination was set, a distant and ominous location that raised the hair on the back of Jake's neck. The journey unfolded in an unsettling silence, punctuated only by the occasional creaks of the car and the distant howls of the wind. Jake's gaze frequently darted to the rearview mirror, where the hooded figure seemed to exude an aura of darkness that seeped into the very fabric of the car. As they approached the destination, an abandoned mansion perched atop a desolate hill. Jake's apprehension peaked. The passenger instructed him to stop, and the crumbling edifice of the mansion stared back at them, a haunting silhouette against the moonlit sky. Why are we here? Jake stammered, beads of sweat forming on his forehead. The hooded figure turned slowly, revealing a ghastly skeletal visage. You've entered my domain, mortal. A debt must be paid. Fear constricted Jake's chest as the realization dawned. This was no ordinary passenger. It was a specter, a soul seeking retribution. Panic set in, and he fumbled for his phone to call for help, but the screen displayed only static. You disturbed my eternal slumber, the specter hissed, a cold wind swirling through the car. Now, you must pay the toll. With a resounding click, the doors locked trapping Jake inside. Desperation consumed him as he pounded on the windows, pleading for release. The specter's <laughs> haunting laughter echoed through the car. In an ethereal surge of supernatural strength, the specter's icy fingers gripped Jake's arm, and searing pain shot through him. Memories flashed before his eyes, faces of those he had wronged, lives disrupted, the specter was a harbinger of karma, collecting dues from those who trespassed into its realm. As spectral retribution consumed him, Jake's screams merged with the howling wind. The abandoned mansion bore witness to the horror unfolding that night. The car, now an empty shell, sat at the entrance of the haunted estate, a silent testimony to the vengeful spirits that lurked within. News of Jake's ill-fated ride spread among Uber drivers like wildfire, the haunted cul-de-sac became a cautionary tale, a warning that some fares come at a cost beyond the monetary. Venturing into the unknown could lead to encounters with forces far darker than the night itself. The story of that fateful night lingered, a spectral whisper in the ears of those who dared to drive through the haunted streets after dark.